We're just jumping right into it. Let's go. Let's not waste any time. Today is the day. Today is the day. It's obviously not going to be my first run, so... So this is just obviously just going to be a throwaway attempt. <laughs> Might as well go ahead and get some practice in, rather than watching replays. Now, there's there's not really much anything else I can learn from looking at the replays anyway. Let's see how this first run goes. Not great. Didn't see that coming, but that's alright. Hello, Roxolite. Thank you for the good luck. I should be ready for this ca for for this extra stage. This should be the day. This is it, Luigi. That's what I like to see. Unfortunately, I already died, so this is probably not going to be the run. But I I need the. Let's see how far we can get. Ooh, dang it, dude. That was unfortunate. Alright, only one bomb, that's good. I should have asked somebody to show me how to do that properly, but I forgot to do that last night. <laughs> oh well, I think we should be fine. Knowing how this spell works is gonna make a big difference as well. Jade River and this spell were the two big... were the two big setbacks. Worked out the spin spell. There we go. There's that one. Welcome, Alan! This is gonna be the one! This is the stream! This is the stream where I beat Sawako. Maybe not this attempt, but it'll be, uh. You know, it'll be, um. It'll be happening! It'll be happening. It will happen today. If it doesn't happen today, I will be very sad. <clears throat> What's the plan for the rest of the stream? I honestly don't know. <laughs> kind of expecting this to take up the whole stream, but maybe it won't. Of course, 
How did I make it here with two lives? What the hell? Guys, I want you to know this was my first attempt. This is supposed. This was supposed to be a throwaway attempt. Like I literally just started stream, barely said anything, and then started, and I'm already here with two lives. What the fuck? How anticlimactic would it be if this was the run, dude? Like I literally just started stream. Stream started ten minutes ago. Okay. God damn it, it's my arch nemesis. Can I handle my arch nemesis? Ooh. We're literally so close, dude. No! Oh my god, that would have been so amazing if I got it on my first try, dude! Oh! Oh my god, I should have ignored Glimmer. Glimmer gave me shit advice. He told me every single time that you think you should bomb, you should move left or move right. I shouldn't have listened to him. I should have just bombed. Dude. <laughs> Alright. Well, that was a good run. That was a good run. Oh, man. That's that is a hundred percent what you said. Every time I get uh, I get trapped at the bottom, and I think I and I think I need to bomb. The answer is to move left or right, to move to the side. That is exactly what you said. <laughs> oh my god, that was good though. That was a good run. Welcome guys. We're getting it though, dude. That was the first attempt. That was the first attempt today. We got this. We got this. If that was the first attempt, we got this in the bag. <laughs> we got this in the bag, dude. I got a little greedy. I was trying to squeeze by and save a couple extra bombs to try and, like, make it so I could do a little bit extra damage. But I got greedy. Mm. Glimmer's advice to be to give credit Glimmer's advice was working for a moment there like what like a couple times there I actually did manage to dodge a couple of those and not only that but I actually died at the stage so had I like like I had a death on the stage I came into that with one less life <laughs> so I oh, should have had one more life than I did <laughs> What does he do if I'm not there? Who's scapegoat to in this chat? Uh, there is none, because the only person who said to not use a bomb and move to the side was you. <laughs> Joking aside, it was good advice, Glimmer, though, because it, it did work a couple of times. It's just, maybe I should do it when I don't have any bombs. <laughs> we got this, though. We got this. That was with a death on the stage. That was with a death on the stage.
All right. I don't even remember what killed me. I think it was Kaneko. One of Kaneko's, uh... One of Kaneko's attacks killed me in the last, uh... In the last run. Oh yeah, it was her, um... It was the one that always kills me. Like, there's... It, there's nothing I can do. I can't bomb against it. I guess if I wanted to make it consistent, I could just plan a bomb here. Just say, fuck it, make, just, just only, only bomb. Just say, don't even bother capturing it. But, you know. Because like I said, it's impossible to bomb on this spell. The only way you could is if you intentionally planned one there. Like you can't you can't you can't bomb there. You you can't tell when you're in danger for that spell. <clears throat> I don't usually get to capture this. Oh, I don't think I'm gonna get to capture it here. Wow! Never mind. We are gonna get to capture it today. That's sick. I don't always. It's not. I don't always capture it because it's just not worth the risk. But I got an easy pattern that time. Okay. Here we go! This time we have five lives. Let's see if we can get it this time. If we if we manage to make it all the way there with four lives, we should we should have this. We should definitely have this. Unless, you know, I have an early a bad early death. But, you know, hopefully that doesn't happen. There we go. And that's a bomb, yeah. Let's not let's not be stupid with our bombs. Let's let's be very very, you know. Let's be respectful. Let's use our bombs when they are needed, like right there. Cool. A cool three power. Hopefully I don't get trapped this time. Sometimes Sawako moves weird and it causes these to trap me like that.
Cool! I don't usually capture that. This is good. This is very good. But now we're at Jade River. Let's see how this goes. We are at low power, so I'm kind of expecting to bomb. Maybe not. Oh? Oh? Hey! Hey! Let's go! Alright. Oh, this might be a bomb. Ooh, I can't believe I didn't die there. That's, I, I didn't, I, I wasn't, I wasn't so sure about that one. Okay. Oh, it's this. Okay, cool. Oh, this one. This is an insane run. This is like an actually insane run. I've had like a perfect Sawako fight so far. Damn, it just barely got me. I barely got got. That's okay, though. Whew. Let's not get too excited. Let's not get too excited. I know I have a lot of resources. I don't know exactly how much I have right now, but I know I haven't. I know this has been a really good run. I don't want to get too cocky. Oh god, I lost control. There were no bullets around me, so that really was an unnecessary bomb, but I lost control, and so I I didn't I I, I wasn't I wasn't in control of Reimu there. I'm gonna have to bomb. Okay. Oh my god, we're at four lives here. What the hell? This is it. If th th this is I'm going to cry if I if this isn't it. Ow! Have mercy. Oh gosh. This is why I said don't get cocky. I just lost an entire life. It's too early. It's too early. 
too early to say you've won. too. God damn it, dude. Alright, whatever. We're at five power. Two lives. Wish me luck, boys! She's so close. Don't do this to me. Don't do this to me. Don't do this to me. <gasps> yes! Oh! Oh! Oh my god! I can't believe it! 30 minutes! Dude, I was expecting to be here for like four hours, dude! Dude! Dude, I, I probably would have been able to get it yes last night. Oh my god! What was that? My second attempt? Was that my second attempt or my third attempt? Holy crap, dude! Wait, I need to read this. Hold on, hold on. <laughs> oh my god, I'm so- I'm, I'm like so sh- well, I, I didn't read the dialogue. Oh god. <laughs> that- the, my second attempt of the day, yeah! Oh my gosh, dude! Holy crap, I wasn't expect- Jesus- okay, now what? <laughs> Wait! Dude, I wasn't- I can't believe it. I got that so fast. <laughs> you can look it up on the wiki now. It's not cheating. Look what up. Look, look, look what up. I- we- you must- we must be talking about something we were talking about last night. I forget. Looking up something. <laughs> the dialogue. Oh yeah, yeah, I can, I can look it up. But I wanna, I'll, I'll look, I, I wanna look at it now. Oh my gosh, dude. Oh, dude. Holy crap. Oh man, and, and, and that was still close. Even though I had like a near perfect Sawako run all the way to the end. That last spell is, God, dude. That last spell has me rolling. I made it, I, I knew if I made it there with two lives, I'd be, I'd be able to have good chances. Even though I scuffed one of my- one of my lives. Holy... Oh... Ten desires? <laughs> do you want- do you guys want to see ten desires? You did get better at it. Yeah. I, um... Uh, I- I have to say, Glimmer, th thanks for the advice. I- I really tried dodging to the side here. And I think I- I think I started figuring it out. You kind of- it's almost like... I don't know how to describe it. It's really hard to describe, but dodging to the side, I almost want to say it's, it's, I, I don't want to say it's just, it's, it's almost as if, just as effective, if not more. I don't know. 
Oh, God. Dodging to the side, opened up. Here's what it did. Glimmer teaching me that you could dodge the side opened up more possibilities. It opened up more opportunities for me to dodge the pattern, which made it a little bit easier. Whereas I was o when I was only limited to dodging vertically, I got caught more often because I, I was limited in, in the number of ways I was dodging it. So like having more options helped in that regard. So that was that that definitely helped. Although I came into it with two lives too, and I and I and I still scuffed it. But it, that was that was good. Holy, ten desires is an easy game pattern wise. Oh, good good to have an easy game for once, man. Dude, because subterranean animism was quite a jump, quite a difficulty spike compared to Mountain of Faith, like. Mountain of Faith was, in my opinion, I I don't know if I don't know if people will agree with me on this, but Mountain of Faith to me seemed to seemed a lot easier than Imperishable Night. As far as bullet patterns went. Of course I went for I wanted to capture last spells, so I mean I kind of made things more difficult for myself than I needed to. So I was going for time requirements and I was trying to capture final spells when I didn't need to. So, Imperishable Night was much harder than it needed to be for me. But, so, I mean, I did that to myself, okay? But, aside from that, I still feel like Mountain of Faith is a easier game than Imperishable Night. Imperishable Night lets you play with seven lives. That's hard to beat. Oh my god, dude. That's true. And, like, yeah, EOSD, Perfect Cherry Blossom, Imperishable Night, they all let you set your lives. And, and I think some of them let you set your bombs, too. I don't know. I don't remember which ones that you do. I don't think all of them let you set your bombs, but some of them do. All right, let's look at this dialogue. I earned it. Don Maku is an everyday thing. And the humans that live here are this strong. Maybe it's not so bad to live in Gensokyo. Only EOSD does that. Okay, good to know. Oh my! I wonder if I overdid it. It's decided then. That's right. Won't it be great if we started having festivals at your shrine? What? <laughs> if we did that, I bet a lot of people would come. A Don Maku festival? I wonder if anyone would really come. Of course! Let's figure out how long it should be. It would be nice to have an annual grand festival. Do they actually do this? I would love- like, that, that would be so cute. I know a little more of the secrets of the shrine now, so I'm going home for today. If you don't get any more visitors, or if Kaneko does anything strange, come see me about it, alright? After all, Kaneko's faith and divine virtues are mostly thanks to me. What? I provide the divine services. I guess you could say that Kaneko does the sales. What? So Kaneko kicked you out of your shrine, but you are responsible for getting all of the... all of the... Divine... What?! I'm not understanding how this- how this partnership works. The world of gods is a tough place, isn't it? Yo! Let's go! Ten Desires is easy pattern-wise, but resource-wise it's very stingy. Well... If I'm really bad at bombing, like everybody says I am, then I should get 10 desires on my first try, right? <laughs> this is an in-game reference to the real-world Reitasai, a Toho fan convention? Really? They have a deal together, that's all. Maybe maybe I'll understand that better if I when I read that a couple more times. We cleared it! Let's go! Let's go! Oh, it feels good, man. That's my second extra clear. The first one being Flandra. Which I don't have the replay for because I, it's gone. Whoo! Yeah, save that replay. Look at that. Oh, let's look at that replay. I want to see that. I want to see that replay. <laughs> Nothing like looking at your replay so you can you can you can criticize all of the mistakes you made. <laughs> oh. 
I don't know if Glimmer was here when I was uh, testing out other shot types <laughs> on this stage. I'm uh, I don't I don't know if I want I I I don't think I want to relearn this stage with any other shot types, man. Because this stage seems miserable if you're not using homing. Although I I don't think Suwako really changes all that much. The annual Hakurai Shrine Grand Festival is a fan convention uh, that started being held in 2004. Zune usually releases his demo discs there. Please, it's really not that bad. Also, Suwako is way better. <laughs> I mean, it would require. I mean, dude, like, I I did not promise that I would do all shot types for the extra stage. <laughs> Just getting the extra stage once is enough, because these stages are pretty tough, but... How many streams did it take for me to, uh, to do this? I think it was four? Either four or five? I don't remember. Whereas for... UF for the UFO 1CC, it took me three streams. Okay, but my UFO streams were longer, though. So, there is that. So, I don't know. I don't know which one I would say is harder. UFO 1CC or this extra stage? It's hard for me to pick. I would say they're about the same difficulty. But they're a very different... It's hard to compare them because they're a very different kind of difficulty. The reason UFO is difficult is very different from why this is difficult. Yeah, that that was a very fortunate uh, Kaneko session there. And I didn't realize that I already had my five lives at this point, I don't think. I don't- I don't remember what was going on in my mind. I don't know why I went for the sketchy green there, but maybe I'm just obsessed with points. <laughs> so while you had me on the second monitor in the last couple streams, you did three different Sawako extra stage clears. You captured the final on all of them? Holy crap, dude. You're so good. I'm so bad at this game. <laughs> and you also 1cc'd 10 desires on hard? Nice! Good for you! These nons, I don't really know how to do them. I still don't know how to, how to do them well. It's just kind of like, I look for an opening and if I don't see one, I just bomb. Which is good enough if you're just going for the, uh, for the clear. I've learned to start trying to move into the opening while I'm moving down to give myself more time to line myself up for that. I could probably get better at getting trapped there was really unfortunate. I have almost a pattern going, like I've almost figured this out, but I still don't know exactly how to do it. Like, again, like, I feel like if you if you screw up your movement even slightly, it throws this whole thing out of whack. You probably need to, like, I don't know. You could probably use the uh, music as a... Uh... No, because you're probably getting at this, getting to this at different points in the music, so I don't know. Could probably use her shots as an audio cue for when you need to move. Count how many shots. But I don't know how many I don't know when I need to move. I need to like be like, okay, move at shot five. Or move on shot six. Something like that. Just to make it more consistent. Of course I'm done with it now, so I mean, unless I want to return to this someday, which I probably will. Capturing Jade River was in, was was 
crazy. I made it so far with all five of my lives. Also, having the knowledge of Snake Eats the Croaking Frog is, uh, really helped as well. Because usually I take a death there. I actually don't remember if I captured this or if I died. I think I had a bomb. Yeah, there- I wasn't so- I- I wasn't sure of myself there. I think I had enough time, but... I don't know, I kinda panicked. It all turned out fine, though. Of course I got trapped there. I don't know how to avoid getting trapped here. The death here was unfortunate, but... I mean... That's what I get for, uh, not learning how to do this properly, I guess. <laughs> I wonder- I- I- I pro- I wonder if I'm the only person that dodges it this way. I wonder how many other people do it the way I do it. I can't be the only one that- that does it this way. Right? It's definitely not the best way to do it, though. Especially when I was using Marissa. When I was using Marissa, that, it, like, Marissa moves so fast that it's really spooky. It's very easy to overshoot that with, with Marissa. I got really good RNG on this, uh, on, on this attack. And then I think here I lost control, yeah. So there was plenty of space there. If I didn't lose control of Reimu in that moment, because I was jittery. Um, if I didn't lose control there, I wouldn't have had to use a bomb there, but... There are people who micro a love, so anything's possible. Yeah, anything's possible. The early death here was kind of unfortunate, but I didn't have any bombs, so I mean, like, whatever. <laughs> I thought that death was worse than it was. Because I thought I died there with bombs. So actually, that was kind of blessed. That was actually kind of blessed. <laughs> Yeah, this spell, I, 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 this spell could have been done better. It could have been done better. Ideally, this, this, this survival spell takes me two bombs at the very end. I feel like I could do it with two bombs. And that, man. And I was so close to having the spell end right here. It was really... Two, one... Well, okay, it wasn't as close as I thought it was, but... <laughs> Alright, now let's look at this. Holy crap, dude. You see me dodging to the sides? Holy crap. You know, if I can get the practice patch working, I'm probab- I would love to just, like, take this survival spell and just sit here for, like, hours practicing it. That way I can master it and have no weaknesses. There are worse ideas. <laughs> what do you mean? That's not a bad idea.
My gosh, dude. My god, that was such a- oh man. Simply admirable for a human to defeat a god who's built up a country all by herself. So that's what she said. Wasn't it way more rewarding without the practice patch though? To be fair, Glimmer, the extra stage is only one stage. <laughs> it's not six stages, okay? That's- that's the thing. Practice patch is, is- is good for, like, if you're practicing 1ccs. Alright! That was- that was, you know... Extra stages, I probably don't need the practice patch, to be honest. Because they are just one stage. You know? Oh my goodness. It was a little anticlimactic, though, because I got it right at the beginning of the stream. So now what? <laughs> Practice patch isn't really needed for quite a long while. It can be nice to use though. Yeah. Do 10 desires blind. I kind of wanted to do 10 desires another day though. I could do 10 desires today just to see, you know, what... What, what to expect? Perfect Cherry Blossom Extra? Ram? Oh, man. What is the unlock code for Perfect Cherry Blossom? Which ones are left? So there's Perfect Cherry Blossom Extra, Imperishable Night Extra. I don't want to do Phantasmagoria Flower View. There's um, Subterranean Animism, but that one seemed like it was going to kick my ass. And then there's also UFO, which people have been telling me that Nue is apparently easy, and the stage is the hardest part, but... Pish Posh Unlock Code, get a 1cc. True, I could just, you know, use Sakia. Easy 1cc. <laughs> but... PFV Extra is relatively easy. That would require me to act... That would require me to 1cc POV again, and I don't want to do that. Unless, unless I got the, uh, unless I got the, you know, freaking... I don't want to play POV, to be honest. We could look at 10 Desires. Let's look at 10 Desires. Let me, let me pull it up. Oh my god. I'm glad that's over. What is this? What is that? What is this? Oh my god, it's like a disco party, dude. Oh, okay, that's the end of my life. That was a good run. <laughs>